Hi, boys and girls. This is our Christ Light for Tuesday, the application for um, Lesson 7A, The Road to Emmaus. So we'll look at my sheet, and then you'll go to Edmodo for the quiz. Okay, whoops. Oh, sorry guys. Now I'm having troubles with this again because I haven't had to do too much of it. Um, okay, so here we go. The road to Emmaus. The Emmaus disciples said Jesus was a mighty prophet, but they lost hope in Jesus as their savior because he died. Many Christians, many disciples, or all of the disciples, lost hope in Jesus as their savior because he was dead. So they thought. So, and remember, we're still on Easter Sunday. This is in the evening. Jesus met up with the disciples and talked with them, though they did know, though they did not know it was Jesus. Jesus went back to the Old Testament writings of Moses and the prophets. He explained everything. He had two hours to talk to them. It was a two-hour trip. He explained how all of the prophecies needed to be fulfilled in order for Jesus to be the promised savior. Finally, Jesus did allow the disciples to recognize him. They now understood that Jesus had to do these three things. He had to suffer, he had to die, and rise to save them. So suffer, die, and rise from the dead in order to save them. The disciples left Immediately, once Jesus was gone, once he disappeared from their sight, the disciples got up and went back to Jerusalem, a two-hour trip. They ran back to tell the others what that they had seen Jesus. But the disciples also had news because Peter had seen Jesus too. They now believed that Jesus had risen from the dead. We learn the same things. Jesus had to fulfill Old Testament prophecies suffer, die, and rise again in order to be our promised Savior. Though we know this, we continue to study God's Word to make our faith stronger and to learn more about Jesus. Then we too can tell others about Jesus, true God and true man, Savior of all people. Now please go to Edmodo and um, take the quiz. Have a great day.